Hello, 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 hello. I am so sorry, y'all. I My video is acting stupid because I have a new stand and I my phone dropped. Okay, I didn't have it tied down. Okay, so I'm making a red velvet cake. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what the ingredients. You have two pans. This is your dry stuff. This is your wet stuff. So this is the dry stuff, and I'm going to tell you exactly what's in the dry stuff. You have to separate them all. Okay, the dry stuff, you have... Uh, one and three-fourths cup of sugar. Then you have three cups of all-purpose flour, or you can use cake flour. It doesn't matter. Three tablespoons of cocoa. Okay, let me show you what I got. Three tablespoons of cocoa. Okay. One and a half teaspoon of baking powder. I use the best. Cowgirl baking powder. Okay. And you're going to use a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, I don't know why I use Arm & Hammer out of, out of everybody. Okay, you're gonna need, and, uh, and then salt. Uh, teaspoon of salt, okay? Then in the wet one, the wet one we're gonna use two large eggs, one and a half cup of buttermilk at room temperature, y'all. And then one stick of butter, that's the, uh, um, one cup, uh, three fourths of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of white vinegar, okay, vinegar, vanilla extra, you need uh, two tea, uh, teaspoons of vanilla, okay, pure vanilla it says, okay, and then one teaspoon of red food coloring. It says gel, but I'm not using gel, I'm using red food coloring, okay, that's what we're going to do, okay. Now we're going to mix this together, and we're going to mix the dry together, and then we're going to combine them. Okay, and let me mix them. So here we go, mixing the dry ingredients really good. I use my mixer, because you're going to mix it together anyway. And then we're going to start adding our wet uh, mixture. Okay? And now we'll add the wet mixtures to it, and mix it really well where it don't have no lumps and, and uh, from the butter and stuff, so I'm going to mix it well. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn it up a tad higher okay then I, I um, buttered my pan the pan that I'm going to use I have to do this for a car, um, somebody's uh, graduation so I uh, got to use a circle pan I'll show you what I'm using okay we're using just a little pan this is to go on top of the big cake okay that's what we're doing okay we're going to add it to the pan this is our mixture I turn out Okay, we're going to add it to my pan. Now, I don't know how full I'm going to make it, but I want it to be full and pretty. So, I'm going to pour it in there. It just... <laughs> this might do it, y'all. This whole thing. I might use it. Okay, y'all. Okay, I hope it don't overflow. If it do, oh well. We're going to see how it turn out. We're going to put it in the oven on 350 for 40 to 50 minutes, okay? Or until cake tester comes out clean. You know, I just put a toothpick in it and until it comes out clean. Then we're going to remove it from the oven and let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes and turn it over out of the pan for the cooling rack, okay? Then we're going to, um, then we're going to make uh, use your cream cheese icing. You can make cream cheese icing. And the cream cheese icing, all you need uh, is... One cup of powdered sugar, two uh, tablespoons of butter, one cup of cream cheese, and one teaspoon of vanilla extra, and four tablespoons of hot water. And just keep stirring it till you get it. And that's how we're going to make that. That's easy. So we'll put that on it after it cools. Okay, this is what it looked like. Y'all, almost burnt it up. Because <laughs> I locked myself out the house and had to wait till somebody come with a key. Okay, there we go with the icing. And we're just going to cut this cake so we can see what it tastes like. Yeah, I know this is my first time doing this. So, y'all look at that. Look at that. Y'all better ask some dang on body. Okay, y'all. There we go. Red velvet cake. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Look. Now, we're going to taste this bad boy just to see what it tastes like. Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness. 
Y'all, you got to try the recipe. Oh my goodness. It's good. It's good. All right. Love you. Bye. Have a great day. Please subscribe.